The Big Brother Niger show certainly gives a lot of talking points because of the drama and the controversies. But most times, it's the romantic relationship that keeps us entertained. In this video, let's look at 10 BB Niger relationships. Let's start with one of the most talked about duos from BB Niger 2020, also known as the lockdown season, Neo Akpafure and Victoria Adeyele, better known as V. Their chemistry sparked right on the show, and first we're all in their romance. Neo was smitten by V's confidence and her captivating way of speaking. In his voice, her confidence was very sexy to me and it made me fall for her. Then the way she talks, I can listen to her for the rest of my life. However, reality hit hard post-show. By February 2022, we made it clear that their love story had hit a dead end with a social media post stating that she was soft and single. She even went as far as unfollowing Neo and erasing all their pictures together from her platforms. So, what was once a promising love affair fizzled out, leaving fans with more questions than answers. Are you still with Neo? And my answer is, Madge, you find your business. Because you are not in, you're, when I go home, are you here with me? Do you live with me? Do you shower with me? Do you sleep with me? Do you watch TV with me? No, this is all you see. Everything I put on social media. I've never come on social media to announce any part of my personal life and it's never gonna happen now. Now shifting gears to BB Ninja 2021 Shine Your Eye Edition, we had another interesting duo, Rosaline Afije, also known as Liquor Rose, and Emmanuel Umo. Their bond was unmistakable on the show and they only started officially dating after the camera stopped rolling. Unfortunately, their relationship didn't have a fairy tale ending either. The romance was cut short when Liquor Rose alleged that Emmanuel cheated on her during a trip to Dubai. She claimed to have walked in on him with another woman in a hotel room. According to Liquor rose, the light was off, music was playing and the girl was sitting at the edge of the bed, which was rough. She also covered her face with a mask. Emmanuel, however, had a different story. He insisted he was just catching up with an old friend and had fallen asleep during their conversation before Liquor Rose arrived. Despite his denials, the trust was broken and the relationship couldn't survive the fallout. Both these BB Niger couples started with a lot of promise and public adoration but untimely ended in splits. For V and Neo, the breakup came with a clean social media slates and for Emmanuel and Liquor Rose, it came with a dramatic narrative straight out of a reality TV script. So you were his girlfriend? Yes. Unless I was, I, was, the was the which I don't even wish to be and I can never even be. I was. Wait, wait, then wait, 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 wait. Please don't call Please me. Don't, can I don't just sit down talk? there and lie against me. Oh. I've heard so many. I've been keeping quiet. Sorry. It's because I'm respecting you, but I get Thank you. Next up, we have Saga, Adiolua, and Anita Singh, also known as Nini, the former BB Niger season 6 Shine Your Eye housemates who captured everyone's heart with her wild wind romance. Their love story began inside the BB Niger house where their chemistry was palpable from the start. In a romantic gesture that had fans sworn in, Saga proposed to Nini in 2023. The proposal was nothing short of a fairy tale, with rose petals scattered around and a heartfelt inscription on the wall reading, Will you be mine forever? Photos and videos of the proposal quickly made round on social media and it seems like the couple was heading towards a happy ever after. However, reality TV romance often come with their share of drama. Just months after their engagement, rumors began swelling that Saga and Nini had called it quit. According to a popular blogger, the breakup was due to Nini's inability to leave her sugar daddy, sparking speculation that their engagement was merely a skit for the cameras. You are always in the female saga every time of your life. What happened to you and Nini? <laughs> okay, no answer. What's going on between you and Liquor Rose? Oh, we're amazing. We're doing good together, you know. Although our marriage has ups and downs, but then we always find the balance to come back together. Are you married to Liquor Rose? Of course I am. On screen or in real life? On screen and in real life. But you know I'm not online say you don't marry her. It's my ring. Saga says he's married to Liquor Rose. I hope this is not another lie, but no problem. Next up, we have Kid Wires and Erica's romance, which was one of the biggest highlights of BB Ninja's lockdown season 5. Their chemistry was electric and their relationship quickly became a focal point of the season, captivating viewers and generating plenty of buzz both inside and outside the house. After the show ended, Erica and Kidwire continued their relationship, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. The couple faced intense scrutiny from fans and the media, with every move analyzed and discussed on social media. Things took a dramatic turn in January 2021 when Kidwire, in an interview, hinted at being single by saying he didn't have a love life. This statement 
didn't sit well with Erica's fans who felt betrayed and took to social media to express their disappointment and anger. The backlash from Erica's supporters was swift and intense, showing how invested fans were in the Kidrika relationship. Despite the public interest and endless speculation, the couple eventually decided to go their separate ways. The exact reason for the breakup remained a topic of debate among fans, with many left wondering what really happened. As I look at him, I still feel very stupid for ever saying that he's the best, he's, the, he's like my best friend in the house. Plus, Erica is, is, has literally been focusing on herself, on her career, and her acting, and it's always just been that people want to make it seem like it's other things to do with the house, but once you put the house behind you and you want to move on, you kind of just focus on yourself. And that's what she's been trying to do. Well, that's what she is doing. But really, people are actually just focusing on themselves. And I don't think anyone has resentment anymore because, again, life has humbled you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have the relationship saga of Gifty Powers and Nigerian singer Mr. 2K, a story filled with romance, controversy, and unexpected twists. Gifty, the ever controversial ex housemate from BB Ninja, and Mr. 2K have had quite the journey. During her time in the BB Ninja house, rumors were swelling about Gifty's relationship status. It wasn't until after her exit that Mr. 2K confirmed they were indeed dating. In an interview, he said, I do not womanize because I am a one man, one woman type of guy. Gifty is my girlfriend and everybody should know about that. He said how they met through his manager, Energy, back in 2013 and bonded over frequent charts on Blackberry, which was all the rage then. When it came to her performance in the BB Niger house, Mr. 2K was supportive. He acknowledged that Gifty had a strategy to win the 25 million naira prize, saying her performance at the Big Brother house was all a game and she had to do anything to get the money. That was her strategy but she actually overplayed it. Despite her not winning the prize, he emphasized she is still a winner and 25 million naira is nothing. I make more than that in less than 3 months for my music. Fast forward to 2020 and the couple's story took a dramatic turn. Gifty found herself back in the spotlight, not for her usual social media antics, but due to a dispute over the paternity of her daughter, Alicia. Questions arose on social media about how Alicia's father was. Adding fuel to the fire, Mr. 2K posted a bad message for Alicia referring to her as his daughter. This declared Declaration stirred up the boss as fans and followers try to piece together the real story behind Gifty and Mr. 2K's relationship and Alicia's paternity. Despite the drama, their story remains one of the most talked about relationships to come out of BB Ninja, highlighting the complex and often public nature of the reality TV romances. At number 5, we have Khalifa Karim, better known as Kafi, and Jidoni Akpata from the BB Ninja 2019 Pepe Dem season. Kafi, an officer with the Metropolitan Police, Police in England and Jidoni, a fashion entrepreneur, hit it all from the start. Her connection was undeniable and their frequent public display of affection quickly made them one of the show's favorite couples. Throughout the season, they has watched as Kafi and Jidoni's bond grew stronger. Kafi often expressed how much peace she found being around Jidoni and their chemistry was a major highlight of the show. Despite some skepticism from the viewers about whether their relationship would last outside the BB Niger house, Kafi and Jidoni proved the Daughters wrong. After the show, the love there didn't waste any time taking their relationship to the next level. In December 2019, Jidoni proposed to Kafi and she joyfully shared the news on Instagram with a picture of the two of them and the caption, I said yes and I got the best Christmas gift ever, Mrs. Ekpata loading. On September 24th, 2020, Kafi and Jidoni tied the knot at the Ikoi marriage registry in Lagos. Their wedding was a beautiful celebration of love witnessed by close friends and family. The couple's happiness continue to grow as they welcome their first child later in 2020. Kafi shared the joyous news on Instagram, posting photos of herself with their newborn. Next up, we have the BB Ninja 2017 Seagull Bay season, where we saw the intriguing connection between Basi, Ekpeyong, and Oluwa Riz, Deborah Ebun, popularly known as Debbie Riz. Their camaraderie on the show has fans rooting for them, and their undeniable chemistry was one of the highlights of the season. Basi with his charming Dimeno and Debbie Riz, with her musical talent and vibrant personality seemed like a match made in reality TV heaven. The duo shared numerous intimate moments and had others back through their time in the house. Debbie Reese often serenaded Bassi with her guitar and their bond grew stronger as the show progressed. However, unlike some other BB Ninja couples, Bassi and Debbie Reese never officially labeled their relationship as romantic. They maintained that their connection was built on mutual respect and friendship. After the show ended, 
ended, both of them focused on their careers. Bassi ventured into acting and hosting while Debbie Reese pursued her passion for music. At number 3, we have Toby Bakare and Alex Osuga, two of the most dynamic personalities from the BB Ninja 2018 Double Wahala season. Toby was always upfront about his feeling for Alex and the 27-year-old who dazzled everyone with her dance moves and brilliant and vibrant personality. Their chemistry was undeniable and kept viewers glued to their screen. Toby and Alex shared many memorable moments on the show, from their late night chats to their playful banter. Their connection was so strong that fans were eager to see if it would last outside the BB Ninja house. Toby's admiration for Alex was clear and she seemed to reciprocate his feelings, making their interaction one of the season's highlights. However, there was another player in the story, Leo. Alex had a previous romantic and strategic partnership with him but he stepped back giving Alex and Toby a room to explore their connection. Despite Alex's earlier intention to give Leo another chance, she clarified that they remained close but were no longer romantically involved. At number 2, we have have Mercy Ike and I Koyema from the BB Ninja Pepe Dem season. These two brought a lot of spies to the show and their relationship kept everyone on their toes. Mercy the fiery entrepreneur and Ike the American raised Ninja boy coming together in a blend of romance and strategy. Their connection was immediate and intense. Mercy had mentioned having a crush earlier on and it was none other than Ike. They navigated the game without letting their budding romance distract them and fans couldn't get enough of the Mercy Ike relationship. Their bond extended beyond the show, with both of them stating their commitment to each other. Ike even said, I can see myself with Mercy forever. Why Mercy confirmed, I will still be with Ike regardless of what happens. Mercy, the winner of the fourth season, Pepe Dem 2019, and Ike were practically inseparable during the show. Despite the rumors and naysayers who thought their romance wouldn't last outside the house, Mercy was confident. She said, I was single before going into the house, but now you should expect love and friendship between me and Ike. We will work as partners. Money has nothing to do with the love we share. The duo even launched their own reality show, Mercy and Ike Show, which aired on the African Magic on Sunday night. This show gave viewers an inside look into their relationship, keeping the Mercy Ike fans hooked. However, like many reality TV romances, things didn't stay rosy forever. Their relationship eventually hits the rocks. In a surprising twist, Mercy denied ever dating Ike during a podcast. When asked about their relationship, she, she bluntly responded, I don't know what you are talking about. Even when pressed further, she insisted, I can speak for myself, I cannot speak for anybody, I still don't know what you are talking about. Finally, let's rewind to BB Ninja Season 3, Double Wahala Edition, where we saw sparks flying between Tokwe, Ade Bunio, better known as Teddy A, and Oluwa Bamike, Olawomi, also known as Bam Bam. These two didn't just create a buzz during the show, they made headlines even after the camera stopped rolling. Their chemistry was so undeniable that fans quickly dubbed them Bam Teddy. During their time in the house, Teddy A and Bam Bam had a relationship that caught everyone's attention. There was even more rumors swelling about their intimate moments, though nothing was ever confirmed. Critics were quick to predict their romance with Fizzle out once the show ended, but Bam Teddy had other plans. Fast forward to August 3, 2019, and Teddy made a grand gesture by proposing to Bam Bam. He posted a photo on Instagram showing Bam Bam with a ring, surrounded by four flower petals spelling out will you marry me. It was a moment straight out of a fairy tale and fans were ecstatic. Just a month later, on September 9th, 2019, they had a spectacular wedding in Dubai, UAE. The ceremony was a star-studded affair attended by friends, family and fellow BB Ninja housemates. This wasn't just any wedding, it was the first time a BB Ninja couple from any season tied the knot, making history for the show. Their love story continued to bloom and on March 5th, 2020, the couple welcomed their first child, a beautiful baby girl named Zendaya. Over two years after initially meeting on the show, Bamba and Teddy A proved their critics wrong, showing that their love was indeed built to last. Wait, Even about the pregnancy that people were shoving in, like, oh, mm -hmm. it's because you were pregnant, that's why mm -hmm. he married you. If Teddy didn't want to marry me, there was nothing I was going to be able to so do. So it was just it. about love. We and just the next knew that. Step. Yeah. Do you even understand that before I proposed to my wife, we, ha we weren't talking for two weeks? Oh, you guys were fighting. We were fighting. <laughs> and then when she told me she was pregnant, I was like, ah, guy, this is, this is it, bro. Like, this is, this, is, this is it. This is the sign, you know. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and like. Then click on the end screen on your left to watch the top 10 richest BB Ninja housemates of all time.